Game code provided by Square Enix. What's up everybody, welcome back. Now this will be an impressions, gameplay, footage, video of Final Fantasy VII Remake. My initial impressions and of my first two hours of the game. Now I want to give a disclaimer, first of all, there will be spoilers in this video as far as the gameplay footage is concerned. I will not be spoiling the actual story of the game itself per se, but there will be story spoilers because we will be showing all of chapter 2 and it takes place immediately after the events that occurred in the original demo which is actually the first part of the game because a lot of people have already seen that part of the game the first part of the game where you fight the boss and everything with Barrett so I thought it would be cool to show chapter 2 in its entirety and then you can get an idea of some of the subsystems in the game and get a better idea of how the combat works in Final Fantasy 7 Remake so what do I think of the game so far why well, I think it is fantastic I have already played this game a few times back in 2019 at E3 I played the full demo then and of course I played the demo in March of 2020 this year before it was released. So the main thing to take away from this game in my opinion is the gameplay aspects that Final Fantasy 7 has taken and of course changed completely from the original game and of course you can still play in that turn-based style if you so choose to in Final Fantasy 7 Remake however I am playing in the new style that they have made up for this game and I think it works extremely well and I do honestly think that this is going to change the way JRPGs and RPGs themselves will be played in the future going forward. I think this is a great battle system and I sincerely hope that JRPGs do in fact use this technique in their battle systems making it real-time combat where you have full control of your character and of course mixing in the stopping of time and choosing your items and choosing your attacks and abilities in combination with real-time combat. I do think that Final Fantasy VII Remake does this aspect of the gameplay fantastic and now after playing it extensively I can safely say that I do think that turn-based JRPGs are the thing of the past. I think going forward for me personally I'm going to be more interested in this type of combat systems for JRPGs. Now of course there's nothing wrong per se with turn-based combat battle systems and JRPGs if done correctly but I do think JRPGs could have used a boost or a change in the way gameplay was for quite a long time and I do think Final Fantasy 7 Remake is that game to flip the genre on its head and bring a new dynamic of gameplay and excitement and less repetition in how these games are made so that was the main thing that I was personally looking for going into Final Fantasy 7 Remake was this combat system so the combat system is very dynamic you have all kinds of options you can do with your character with cloud and with barrett and your party members that you have you can choose all the same different abilities you had in final fantasy 7 but you can do it all in real time and you can continually fight and dodge and attack in real time and then switch characters on the fly and then do the same thing with that character like with barrett for example you can change your weapons change your abilities and then heal and then as you heal your character for example say you want to heal cloud as barrett as you select heal you can then switch over to cloud instantaneously and then while cloud's getting healed you can go and in transition into attacking with cloud and then as cloud dodges and goes behind the enemy for example in that first boss you fight in the first part of the game you can then switch back and forth on the fly and it works so seamlessly in combat that once you get used to it it feels natural and it really does feel like a brand new way to play JRPGs. So I'm extremely impressed by this game so far and of course the graphics are amazing. It looks like it's running in native 4K even though I know the game is not quite running at native 4K but the game it looks so good that you'd be hard pressed to see any jaggies in the game. It just looks immaculate and extremely well detailed all around and it runs at a very very locked 30 frames per second not 60 of course but it's it locked 30 frames I didn't notice any frame stuttering at all or slow down whatsoever the game is extremely polished and has some of the best quality audio I've ever heard in the game as well the music is top-notch quality of the voice samples is extremely high so again I want to thank Square Enix very much for this review copy of Final Fantasy 7 remake and I hope you guys do enjoy the footage that I recorded here. It looks very, very good, I think. I think you'll enjoy this game. I highly suggest you pick it up for yourself and play it. And the game is reportedly over 40 hours long, so there's plenty of gameplay there with multiple parts of Final Fantasy VII coming in the not-too-distant future. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoy the rest of the footage, 
and I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. Take care. You hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. <sighs> Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it? I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it! Huh. Watch out for live wires! They're everywhere! Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Ugh, it's me! Gotta do something about that. And soon. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. How much farther do we have to go? Not far. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Fire in the hole! You sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. Attention all citizens. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents are safe. No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, 
Cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fees. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh? Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! <laughs> we'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then! Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it once we're back at base. Yeah. Huh? I don't need to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <laughs> Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right?
stations intact. Then... Not real. You're dead. I am. Uh... I killed you with my own. <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. For the planet to die, so many things will be lost. Your hometown, the moon is so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh, Yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. Seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. Oh, 
are knocking. Oh my! The girlfriend's I waiting for me at the station. Family, they're at the station. Our advice to vacate the area immediately. The explosions at the reactor have caused numerous ongoing fires. Shooting Any for the station? Take the alley and climb up to the roof of that building at the end, and you're practically there. If you make it that far. I repeat. Do I have to get home? This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. An evacuation order has been issued to the occupants of buildings in the vicinity of the Sector 8 Expressway. You are advised to vacate the area immediately. The explosions at the reactor have caused numerous ongoing fires. Many homes are at risk. It is not safe to remain indoors. Please leave your residences at once. I repeat. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. An evacuation Man. order has been issued what to the mass. Of buildings in the vicinity of the Sector 8 Expressway. I'm so scared. You are advised to vacate the area immediately. Mom! We want to get our toys! The intruder escape. Security's everywhere. Good. Military's here. Too weak to save anyone. Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <laughs> Help me! So 
Go to the ground! Right now! Steady. Get ready, see you. That's yes. that. Yeah! Let's go. Nothing to it.
any time now.
Let's go. I see him! I'm waiting. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> Nothing to it. Confirm! Target has entered residential area! Full lockdown is in effect! All units! Target. You're mine now! Target spotted! Moving the intercept!
This cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm. You think he's a keeper? been up to, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? 
Lucky us, we've got a crowd to hide in. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Marco Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Maybe the freight cars are so bad. Wow, we get some pretty people riding in the freight car. Yes, they don't have much choice. Uh, Wait, so oh, so oh, never mind. Here. Sorry to disturb you. Hey, got a sec? I think it's the blue Just leave me alone, all right? You see, my daughter now lives in Sector 8, so... Little help, Cloud, please? I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't a reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Sure Sector mm -hmm. too. You mentioned Gosh, invisible you enemies back there, happen. right? Right. No. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly. But I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, shh. Don't mm. antagonize you. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? <laughs> Y'all's masters? <laughs> We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world! That's right! That is the Shinra Creed! <laughs> Those fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Time for a little This train is slower than molasses, am I right? You hear that suit? Shinra Creed, my ass. Get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not. <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level, atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID uh. checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <coughs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. 
Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? Detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting, she'll worry. No, how about it, baby girl? Not bad. Yeah. Uh, the is still there? Somehow. So the Mako reactor's uh. Don't play it, don't play. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, it's like a giant piled up like mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> what the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Huh. <laughs> You're such a kidder. Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping Tifa. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. 
Parker. Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Uh... think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was, it was wrong of me to put you in I danger like that. that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. How'd that go? Not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. One of my friends said so they saw it burning. It wasn't that bad? I reactors were it was. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. <laughs> 